Benvenuto al Gran Premio d'Italia. <laughs> Monza, uh, extremely historic. Wow, yeah. Of course, very special to drive in front of the Tifosi. The atmosphere is just uh, spectacular. Yep. It's one of my favorite circuits. It's challenging. So from our perspective, we, we make a bespoke package for Monza, as you know. Uh, and it's one of really only a few circuits that we will specifically spend time designing a package just for one race. It's low downforce. We take all the downforce off. For you guys, it becomes really challenging to find that balance effectively between speed, control, and risk. I mean, it's, it's the ultimate high-speed track. We back down the downforce, you know, and, and off we go with top speeds this year probably exceeding 360 kilometers per hour. Sure. I need to be one with my car, you know, so that's, uh, that's very, very important in Monza. It's a lot of work for that power unit to be doing at that point in time. Um, very, very fast. We've got the Mercedes engine. Of course. No problems there. So it's, it's good from that perspective. Very important, of course, are our turns six and seven, which are also my favorite corners. And uh, they're called the two Lesmos. And they're quite difficult because um, there's most of all a lot of understeer. And we also don't have much downforce on that track, you know, so it's always you're sliding and you're bouncing off the curbs and the exit and all that. So I, I like the track. And then the other things with Monza that are, that are interesting, at least for me, is that it's always one of those tracks that is quite difficult to know strategically how to approach before you go there. It's one of those ones where you've seen very exciting races, especially towards the end of the race, where those two strategies converge. Please keep your fingers crossed for us, and uh, we hope that you enjoy the race.